Hello out there, all my YouTube friends. I'm back. Donna's Creative Dabbles is playing with paint again. I have already poured these once and I'm going to pour over them. These I got, the paint was too thin. These, the paint was too dark. So the colors that I'm using today are Deco Art Berry. Um, Master's Touch Silver, Liquitex Mars Black, Master's Touch Violet, and Master's Touch Rouge, uh, and a Lime Green. I mixed this quite a bit ago and I do not remember whose paint it is. So anyway, those are the paints that I'm going to use today. And I'm going to just do, pour them into a cup and then pour on there. Uh, I've mixed them with just Floetrol paint and a little bit of water. They're pretty thick. I'm hoping that they're not too thick. Uh, we'll see. So I'm going to start, I don't want a lot of black in this one, uh, but I'm going to start with it. Oops, I see a hair in that one already hmm okay and then a little bit of the berry and then i think i want to put the silver next i want a lot of silver in this i'm a silver girl i think i've told you that before i like silver um and then the, a little bit just a little bit of the green and then I'll finish off the black. I'm hoping that I have enough paint. I have these sitting on um, the coasters. Uh, I'm going to get two for one. <laughs> and so I really like the coasters that came out with these, but. Uh, not so much the jars, so. I hope I have enough paint. Let's see. And silver. And I think I'm gonna use just part that I have left of it. And put the green in because I really don't want green to be my last color. That's when you pour on something that's upside down, um, you want the color that you want to really see in la in your cup first. Which I should have put silver in first, but I forget that sometimes. First in, last out. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to take and just put a little X in the center there to mix it just a teensy little bit. And we'll cross our fingers. And here we go. I'm just pouring around the edges. These are just little glass bottles from Starbucks. A friend of mine drinks a lot of Starbucks coffees. Oops. Remember, Donna, you got another one over here. Maybe I'll just use this on this one. Well, let's see how that's dripping down. Excuse me, I forgot to get gloves on. Hmm. Okay, that's looking much prettier so far than the other ones, than they did before. You can see the colors in them. So, I'm going to dab a little bit on the sides and see if I can coax that into coming on down. Oh, I'm really liking the paint on those coaster, on the coaster there. So, okay, 
get on down there. These are, I like the pink and green together, but not when you can't really see them. That's a little too subtle for me. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get around over here and pour this on this side. Paint goes, as I've said before, in the path of least resistance. So once some has gone down through, the other paint will just follow its course, takes the easy way out, and just goes along with it. And I don't want it to go along with it. I want it to go its own way on all of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, I'm liking that much, much better there than the other one. But I think I'm going to have to make some more paints for that one. So for now, I'm going to go over to this one, grab another cup here, and I'm going to start with... That one turned out really good with the way I put them in, though. And it is going on down. Come on. You need to go that way. There you go. I had to coax that one. He says, no, it's dry there. I don't want to go. Okay. So I'm going to start this one with purple. Let me check and see if you can see what I'm doing. I think you can. And then silver. I love this silver. I love any silver. I'll be honest. I love silver. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because I'm a summer girl. I don't like winter. And, or, and so I don't like fall because what comes after fall? Winter. And so I'm just, yeah, I'm, I don't like orange because of fall. Gold makes me think of fall. Silver makes me think of, of snow. Go figure. I don't know. I'm, I should like, gold should make me think of sand, but I guess that's because I like the white sands, sand beaches. <laughs> But it's crazy. I don't like winter, but I love snowmen. And uh, I love sled sledding and skiing. First time I ever went skiing, I was just shocked. I said, you know, now I have a reason to like winter. <laughs> because skiing was fun, but I dawned on me. I'm dressed for it. I don't go outside with just a, to ski with just my winter jacket on. I was prepared. So, uh, just a little about me. Um, if you don't like this part of the video, you can always just scroll on past it and get to the actual painting. Uh, that I, I like playing in paint which is why I do this. I hope I can encourage you to enjoy playing in paint with paint too. It is fun. And poor painting is really unique in that, I'm not gonna say everyone, well, everyone can pour paint, everyone can play in paint. But you can really create some really neat things without being a very artistic person. I've seen some beautiful works on YouTube that said that I've never painted before. 
And I just think that's neat. So, just grab you some paints and I mean, there's a lot of supplies. You can really get a lot of supplies purchased. My whole shelf over there is full of paint, different paints. Okay, I'm gonna get these out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing on this. I'm gonna just take a, make an X through it. And we'll pour some paint. And this one's going to be really silver on the bottom of it. I didn't put the green in this, the ones on this side. Just the pink and purple and silver and black. Ooh, it's pretty inside that cup. Can you see that? Yeah, always so pretty. Pretty, pretty what's left. Until I take my stick to get the last of it out and, and ruin it. Well, actually, it still looks pretty. Just use that stick there to coerce it into doing what I want it to do. And I'll just grab a little bit of this and put up there where I didn't get enough on that side. Also can take these or I get they dip in at the top. <clears throat> So you kind of have to move some of that paint out of there. It takes forever for that to dry. And you really don't need that whole area filled in with with paint. And I think I'm going to come over here and get a little bit of that off the top of this one as well yeah that'll work well i got two out of that so now i know that it's got to be double that amount of paint to do two of them i wasn't really even thinking when i mixed it up so i'll let those drip for just a little bit and then move them off of there I think there's enough paint. And I did put in a little bit of the iridescent medium <clears throat> in the black. <clears throat> and then the rest of them are metallic, so. Okay. I'm just gonna pick that up. If I can get it off of there. Move it over here. didn't flow very well. And right there. Get on down there. Okay. <clears throat> Wipe my glove off. And I'll go ahead and move. Poor painting is messy. Messy, messy. But fun. Okay, and I just have these sitting on little pill bottles. And it's still dripping really good. So if you touch it and you move it, it's, it's going to continue to drip on down. Oh, those are pretty. I'm really liking those. And now I get to play with the coasters. Now this is where it gets really messy. I have a lot of paper towels out. 
And this time I tried something new. I saw this on YouTube, on the internet, somewhere, to tape the popsicle stick underneath the coaster. And that way then you can, it's so hard to hold on to these when they have paint on them. Really difficult. They're very slick. I've dropped a few of them. And that's very frustrating. So, I can turn it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I really like this area here. And I'm just going to touch in the center a little bit to get that, that to move. And that white area where the bottle was sitting, there's no paint. And it doesn't like to move real good. <clears throat> so encourage it on down here. I have these taped on the back. So when they're finished, then I will, uh, when they're dry, I will coat them with resin and then I will take the tape off the back and put a cork, cork board on there so that it will sit nice on furniture. I gotta get me some new gloves. These are larges and they were given to me and I really appreciate it. In this day with COVID and shortages of everything, I really did appreciate it, but I am gonna be anxious when I can find some small gloves. Come on down there. Helping it out. Oh, that does definitely help to uh, have that popsicle stick on the back. Really, really helped. So whoever it was that put that on the internet, thank you very much. I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. Put here on this side. In there. Okay. And that looks, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? I love that swirl in there. Just going to grab a cup here and set that down on it. And I'm going to grab a cup before I go do this one. Okay. Ooh, that is pretty. I really like all of that lines on it. And I think this one's going to be really pretty too. I'm going to dab that to start with. Just get some paint in there. Oh, wow. Oh, I really like that. That purple and the silver. Taking it back to the middle. I don't want to lose a lot of that, but we'll see what... One of the fun things about this is you never really know what your composition of your piece is going to be it, until it does its thing. And no two pieces ever turn out the same, even when they're done with the same paints and the same... I'm sorry, I keep turning that away from you and I it's easy to turn now with these sticks on it I'm left-handed in case you haven't been able to tell okay let's see oh that just got the side so well using that all right and I'll put that down there to do its thing it's still dripping off, but oh yeah, looking at it with the, the cup and that with the glass, those are both, I'm happy with both of them. So happy. I will do the others and do another video at the end of this one and put those on. Thank you so much for joining me for this part. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. 
Thank you again for joining me today as I play with paint.